there is one thing you have to stop doing if you don't want to commoditize yourself, if you don't want to commoditize your product or service, and if you don't want to commoditize your company. Welcome back, this is Every Day. And listen, there's one thing that salespeople do that causes them to be perceived as a commodity more than anything else, and you may be guilty of this. And that one thing is trying to save your prospective client money by reducing their price. Okay, let's get this part straight right out of the gate. First, we have to eliminate some of you. If you sell with a business model and a strategy that is lowest price, then that's what you do and that's okay. Walmart does it, Amazon does it, Aldi's does it, there are other people that do it, but they don't discount. They always have the lowest price. That's how you know whether or not it's a strategy for you. And if you don't always have the lowest price, then you're discounting, you're conceding, you're doing something else, but that's not your business model or strategy. When you do that, what you're doing is saying, I look like a commodity, I perceive myself as a commodity, I perceive what we do as a commodity, so what I'll do is I'll ask you if I can save you some money by lowering your price. That's the worst thing you can do. For most of us, that's not the model. That's not your company's strategy. What is your strategy then? It's either the best product, which means you're gonna get a premium for having the best product on the market, or your customer intimacy, which means you're gonna create greater value than anyone else. Now, this is the difference, and this is where salespeople make enormous mistakes in understanding what you're supposed to be doing. And if we're being honest, sales managers too, because they're the ones that allow you to discount or give concessions. If, in fact, you're trying to save your prospective client money by reducing their costs, that's different than reducing their price. Those are two very, very different ideas. I might have a higher price, but will ultimately save your company more money because the outcomes that you get are gonna be better. You're gonna get better service. You're gonna get a lower cost of ownership. You're not gonna to have to replace things as often. It's gonna speed up your production. It could be countless things that you could do that would save costs, but not lower your price. What happens when you walk in and say, I'd like to see if I could save you some money, and you start working on lowering their price, what happens is you look like a commodity, and you're telling the client that your perception is, I'm a commodity. Our product is a commodity. Our solution overall is a commodity, and this industry is a commodity. And you will be treated accordingly. If you decide to be a commodity, everyone's gonna be happy to treat you like a commodity. But you have to think of it this way. If there was a way to provide your prospective client with better, cheaper, and faster, somebody would have already done that. But if they're getting better, and if they're getting faster, it's not cheaper. Those things don't go hand in hand. When you make that promise, what you're saying is, I can be better, faster, and cheaper, just move to me. And then they don't really get the better or faster because you don't have the money to deliver that, and then they're disappointed. And somebody else comes along and says, that's really a cheap price, but I can do a little bit better. Let me see if I can knock 4% or 6% off of that. You live and die by the same sword. If you believe that you're supposed to win by having a lower price, then you believe, you believe this, that your prospective client should go with a lower price when the next person comes along and they believe that they're a commodity and they go even lower than you. In my many, many years of doing this, what I can tell you is I've never found the bottom for irrational competitors. And whenever I see someone where I think there's no way anybody can go any lower than this because they can't be making any money, somebody goes lower. Somebody's always willing to try to win a race to the bottom. Don't let that be you. And if you're a sales manager, don't let that be your team. Your job is to go out and create compelling, differentiated value that's worth paying more for. If you want to be a great rep, you go exactly the opposite direction and you walk in and say, our price is probably going to be 8 to 11% higher than what you're paying now, but the results are going to be so much better, it's going to reduce your cost. Can I explain to you how that works? That's what you do when you're consultative. That's what you do when you're a trusted advisor. Your job isn't to help people underinvest in the results they need. Your job is to help them invest enough to get the results that they need and enough that you can deliver those results and still be profitable. Uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit subscribe. Oh, hit subscribe too. This is Every Day.